Health 8 Unit 2 Family Life Pregnancy Related Concerns and Prenatal Care Pregnancy is a time of many changes. New beginning humans are reproduced through sexual reproduction. Fertilization is a reproductive process wherein half of genes of the father and mother combine to form a single cell. Implantation the attachment of the developing cells to the uterus. Pregnancy is the time when a new cell is formed during fertilization, grows, and develops into a baby in the woman's uterus. Pregnancy is the time when a woman carries a developing fetus in her uterus. Fetus developing human from the time that the ovum and the sperm cell unite until the end of the eighth week. Embryo developing human from the eighth week until birth. A normal pregnancy generally lasts until 9 months or 38 to 40 weeks. Risks of unplanned slash unwanted pregnancy. Emotional anguish. Possible health risks. Limited life options. Teenage pregnancies are premature because they occur in mothers who may be too young and slash or immature to care for a child adequately. Statistics. Teens at 15 and younger face a 60% higher risk of death during pregnancy and childbirth than young mothers at the age of 20. Babies born to young teenage mothers are two to three times more likely to die during their first year than babies born to older mothers. Teen mothers are twice more likely to have low birth weight infants, at risk of physical and mental defects as well as increased risk of dying. Even with good prenatal care, teenager mothers are more likely to have premature labor and to deliver low birth weight babies. Young teen mothers are likely to drop out of school and face high risk of unemployment, poverty, and dependence on parents. If they marry due to pregnancy, their risk of breakup or separation changes in the mother's body produces hormones that make pregnant woman nauseated, morning sickness, enlarged breasts and prepared to produce milk. The woman's uterus stretches to hold a full-sized newborn baby. Experiences swelling of legs, difficulty in sleeping, restlessness, and irritability as the fetus gets larger. Many women feel clumsy or uncomfortable too because of the changes taking place. Nourishing the baby. The fetus gets its nutrition from food the mother eats. To ensure the health of the fetus, the mother needs to eat healthy foods and takes special vitamins. She should get regular medical checkups to protect her health and health of the growing fetus. Normal physical changes and symptoms throughout pregnancy. Fatigue. Sleep problems. Breast changes. Hair changes. Back pain slash sciatica. Hemorrhoids slash constipation. Normal physical changes and symptoms throughout pregnancy. Morning sickness. Heartburn. Varicose veins, leg cramps, pelvic ache slash hip pain, nosebleed slash bleeding gums, normal physical changes and symptoms throughout pregnancy, stretch marks, itchiness, and other skin changes, hand pain, numbness, or weakness, carpal tunnel syndrome, changes in the vaginal discharge, first trimester phases of pregnancy, week 1 to 12. Missed menstrual period Breast tenderness Morning sickness Fatigue Second trimester phases of pregnancy Week 13 to 27 Start to look pregnant and wear maternity clothes Physical discomforts Week 27 The fundus will be about 2 inches, 5 centimeters, or more above the navel Third trimester phases of pregnancy Week 28 to giving birth. Discomfort as the belly gets bigger. Sleep problems. Complications of pregnancy special condition prevention and management. Nausea slash improper body weight small frequent feedings instead of three large meals and high carbohydrates. Low fat foods such as crackers and jelly and liquids should be taken between meals. Toxemia, blood poison, proper nutrition intake of iron and folic acid as prescribed by the physician morning sickness intake of folic acid as prescribed by the doctor anemia rbc deficiency proper nutrition diabetes fluid intake proper nutrition and exercise constipation fluid intake eat fruits and vegetables birth 
the passage of a baby from its mother's uterus to the outside of her body. During birth, the uterus contracts many times and pushes the baby through the vagina and outside the mother's body. Labor is the process that lasts from the time contractions start until the delivery of the child and the placenta. Lasts a different amount of time for every woman and every pregnancy. 3. 3. Distinct Stages of Labor First Stage Begins with the first contraction and lasts until the cervix has opened enough to allow the baby to pass through. Second Stage Starts when the cervix is completely open and lasts until the baby is delivered. Third Stage Is the final stage of labor. Is when the placenta is delivered. In this stage, the mother's uterine contractions push the placenta or afterbirths out of her body. At this time, the birth is completed. Mother's role during and after pregnancy. Avoid stressful activities. Do light exercises. Eat nutritious foods. Avoid vices. Have the regular and necessary prenatal and postnatal checkups. Father's role during and after the wife's pregnancy. Take care of the mother and the baby. See to it that the mother gets the necessary prenatal and postnatal checkups. See to it that the necessary immunizations for the baby are followed as scheduled. Provide healthy diet meals for the mother and the child. How to take care of a pregnant woman. Accompany her in a daily exercise too. Makes her relax by listening to music. Gives her lots of water to drink. Gives her nutritious food to eat. Checks if she sleeps by lying on the left side of her body. Accompany her during regular and as needed prenatal checkups. Breast milk is the best food since it contains essential nutrients suitable for the infant's needs. Is the nature's first immunization, enabling the infant to fight potentially serious infections. Breastfeeding is the traditional and ideal form of infant feeding, meeting an infant's nutritional needs for his first four to six months of life. Lactation is the period of milk production initiated by the prolactin hormone in the mammary glands. Advantages of breastfeeding It is economical and nutritious. It promotes emotional bonding between the child and the mother. Mother's milk has an antibody that protects the infant from certain diseases. Means a child from the time of complete delivery to 30 days old. Newborn screening is a simple procedure to find out if the baby has congenital metabolic disorder that may lead to mental retardation or even death if left untreated. How is NBS done? NBS is ideally done on the 48th to 72nd hour of life. However, it may also be done after 24 hours from birth. Who will collect the sample for NBS? Physician Nurse Medical Technologist Trained Midwife Where is NBS available? NBS is available in hospitals Lying-ins Rural Health Units health centers and some private clinics if babies are delivered at home babies may be brought to the nearest institution offering nbs thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe hit the notification down below for more upcoming videos